Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from Blackberry Cool. We're at Wes and taking a look at Blingo. Uh, they powered Yahoo's OneSearch and uh, they've got a, a couple of extra functions uh, in there as well. Uh, we're talking with Dave Grannon. We had him on the podcast before. Hey Dave. Hi Simon, how are you? Good, good, good. So uh, why don't you show us uh, how Blingo works here? Okay, sure. So uh, as you said, Simon, um, and uh, all the readers of BlackBerry Cool know, we do the voice-powered uh, OneSearch for Yahoo. We also are developing some messaging products we're going to be launching over the summer. So instead of having to type out on a little keyboard, you can just use your voice. So I'll send a message here by just pressing the side button and say something like, send message to Aaron Kelleher, message. I'm running a little late. Can we meet at 5 o'clock? Question mark. And you'll see what's nice about this is certainly we'll do the speech recognition, but in addition to that, um, we launched text messaging. We pick Aaron Kelleher out of my phone book and uh, uh, have the message right there. I'm running a little late. Uh, can we meet at 5 o'clock? And just by pressing send, um, I get the message off to her without ever tapping or having to open an application. Nice. So uh, I, I guess one of the big applications for this is uh, getting some work done while you're on your commute on the way in. That, that's right. As a matter of fact, we found uh, we just completed a survey of about 4,800 respondents in the United States. It turns out 28% of them admitted to text messaging while driving. Among uh, those uh, 16 to 21, the number was 51%. <laughs> so we, we do think it, it has some application. Mm. Uh, now, you guys also uh, did some fine work with Yahoo OneSearch. You want to show us how, how that works? Sure, so Yahoo OneSearch uh, is simply uh, takes the uh, power of OneSearch in the mobile environment and adds your voice to it. So in this uh, box I could certainly type if I wanted to, or as the, the uh, icon says there, hold, hold the talk button and speak. So if I'm looking um, for an airline status or something like that, a flight I often take from Boston is United Airlines Flight 167. And you'll see that right away uh, the speech recognition comes back, that's our part, and then it's off to Yahoo to do the search. And so you can see today's flight on United uh, from Boston to LAX is delayed 21 minutes. Um, it gives me the weather. I, I like this demo because I tell people that it's a great mobile application. It's very rifle shot answer. You can't get your flight status faster anywhere. Yeah, for sure. Uh, now, Blingo also learns your, your speech habits the more you use it, right? That's right, b because uh, speech recognition systems can make mistakes. Uh, we're here at a loud trade show, but um, uh, it's getting pretty good accuracy. But sometimes words are ambiguous. If I do something, for example, like um, Red Sox, um, of course, I'm from Boston, and I'm a Boston fan, um, and you'll see uh, Red Sox has returned there and uh, the sports team, but if I arrow over socks, maybe I meant the kind of socks like you wear on your feet. So by, by choosing a different word, or if, it, if I had said weather in Boston and we had recognized Austin, the city in Texas, Boston would probably be a, a drop-down choice, so users could select the word they mean, and when they send the search, then we trap the acoustics of their voice as well as the correction, making it better both for the individual user and the community of users. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, th does that use up a lot of bandwidth, sending the, uh, the voice data out, out to Yahoo or, uh, or, or Lingo? No, it, it's, it's very small small actually compared to the data of the underlying application. We, we use the onboard uh, audio compression and it's about 1.2 uh, uh, KB per second of audio. So when you look at the application you're using uh, messaging or navigation or search, uh, our, our payload is very, very small compared to the overall application. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Dave. Um, I really like Lingo a lot, especially what you guys have done with Yahoo One Search, and uh, look forward to seeing what else you guys can come up with in the near future. Thanks, Simon. We appreciate it.